still on the fundamental analysis and introducing the fundamental, uh, the fundamental analysis concept, we want to take a look at, uh, at the things to consider when trading currency markets. So once again, uh, technical analysis versus fundamental analysis. I just gave you an example with the Cyprus, uh, with the Cyprus crisis that was a clear fundamental event or news event that affected markets and regardless of your technical setup or your technical analysis, that kind of an event uh, affects, uh, affects your, your setup because the, the potential stop loss that, uh, that one might have was useless in that area. So while technical analysis deals with charts and it is based on past prices uh, to project future price movements, well, the fundamental analysis concentrates on the financial drivers of the economy itself. Now, what are the financial drivers of the economy? Well, first of all, job, jobs creation, okay? Or un unemployment rate. If you want to take a look at the, uh, at the specific economy and see what, are, what, are the, what is the situation in that economy, and you are looking at specific data, financial drivers of the economy itself. So I'm talking about, I'm talking about like I said, unemployment rate, or talking about uh, about the GDP or consumer price index, which is which is the the measure move for the inflation, or uh, PPI that is uh, purchasing uh, uh, producer price index, and so on and so forth. PMIs all over the world now the PMIs the purchasing manufacturing index show, showing the um, the expansion or or um, um, or a booming or uh, recession economy provided by the 50 level. We'll take a, a deeper look at that one uh, later in, uh, in our project and so on and so forth. You see there are a lot of things to consider when, uh, when, trading, uh, when trading currency markets and when looking at fundamental, fundamental analysis. Then of course technical analysis versus fundamental analysis again. In the case of technical analysis traders use a bunch of indicators. I mean tools to make their forecast. For example, you have oscillators, you have uh, indicators all over the place in any platform or trading platform, be, being a MetaTrader, JForex or whatever, you will have a lot of indicators and tools to help you, like relative strength index, like uh, uh, Williams regression, like uh, CCI, the commodity channel index like uh, trend lines, uh, basic trend lines channels and all kinds of stuff more or less complicated, more or less useless, more or less uh, useful for, uh, for the trader but based on that volume and so on and so forth so based on that one interprets, one interprets the uh, future price, move, the past price move, movements and looks to looks to make a nice projection out of them. Now in the case of fundamental analysis, traders will look for news announcements and data releases for the intraday trading. For example, you are setting up your, your week ahead, so your, your week basically, uh, your, your next trading week. So the first thing you should do when, when, uh, when weekend comes is to open the economic calendar, go over the internet, I don't know, uh, there are a lot of uh, websites there with the economic calendar for the next week and look what's to be expected. You should know, for example, that the first week in every month you will have major, uh, major news announcements and data releases that most likely influence the whole, the whole monthly trading. There is the ECB, the European Central Bank, on Thursday. Uh, Bank of England on Thursday, you'll have the ADP, the private payroll number in the United States on Wednesday, you'll have the NFP on Friday, non-farm payrolls on Friday in the United States and together with the non-farm payrolls comes, uh, comes also the uh, unemployment rate in the United States and you will have uh, Canadian jobs data also on Fridays, on the first Friday of each, of each month. So. Having that economic calendar in front of your eyes, you know the exact uh, the time for the data releases, you know the exact time for news announcements like uh, the, ECB, uh, the ECB has, uh, the ECB interest rate decision is always followed by a press conference uh, that, uh, that has
has also a question and an answering session, and that question and answering session is um, <clears throat> is extremely is extremely important because press members from all over the world come and ask the uh, the uh, ECB president a lot of questions based on based on their earlier statement regarding the eurozone economy or based on their um, uh, forecasts regarding the, the future eurozone uh, growth or or problems or something like that so this should be taken into consideration as uh, as well and this is fundamental analysis that influence trading analysis that influence trading and uh, and might might get you out of that technical analysis uh, uh, scenario also what uh, what to take into consideration is um, is um, unemployment rate for example CPI like I told you the consumer price index index which is the favorite move for inflation then the GDP the gross domestic product retail sales that come retail sales that come consumer confidence and factors let's say uh, less important if I may say so like factory utilization and capacity utilization but uh, I mean they don't bring that much volatility to the, to the trading table but uh, but they should be they should be taken into into consideration. So um, with this, I will end this second recording and will uh, will try to look next for uh, for more uh, more clues or, or more factors about what to look for when analyzing an economy. And we'll uh, we'll take a look at past prices and not necessarily past prices but past events, and we'll try to build. The, we'll try to build the, uh, the charts and the scenarios based on that, uh, on that concept. So stay tuned for moving forward, please.